Welcome back in this series of videos we are talking about some internals of Spark. In the previous video we talked about Spark cluster, what kind of things are there, we talked about what Spark driver is, uh, what is a Spark master and what are the Spark executors. In this video I want to talk about group by and I want to show you how Spark implements group by. A few videos ago we did this query, we did a group by, so we grouped by revenue zone, uh, revenue month and service type and uh, yeah we did a bunch of calculations so now i want to spend a little bit more time looking at this group by query and then explain how it actually works internally in spark i will create a new notebook i will call it uh, group by join something like that so i'll just copy this part again so we should have our spark master here should start when we execute this thing and then yeah let me read again green data and now i want to execute a query that is similar to this or just smaller so i will not need this service type the revenue calculation maybe just let's take a look at the total amount and i want to see how many records go there in each revenue zone so i will just do count number of records and then yeah instead of doing monthly let's do hour we will do per hour and we will leave everything as is and of course we need to register this the data frame we'll just register it as green we will have a revenue zone location i'll just call it hour maybe i'll call it zone and then uh, amount and number of records from green and group by one and two so it will be a data frame in green revenue will be hourly revenue yeah there is a mistake let's see cannot resolve pickup data yeah of course because i think if we look at the columns here the name is uh, lpep pickup time whatever lpep means yeah so we will need to replace it here and that should work so let me now do show here to see how it looks like and now it is executing something okay so we have zone we have our uh, amount how much money taxi drivers got in total and then how many trips were there that started in this location so maybe just to make it a little bit easier to read uh, let's also add order by also I think I will reorder this slightly. So first we will have hour and then zone. And then I also want to order by first hour and then zone. And yeah, this is how it looks like. We have some data from the past, like one record with amount of zero from 2008. This must be some mistake. I don't know why it is happening. So let me just add a filter here. So do where this LPEP pickup date time is, um, let's say we will only consider data from 2020 January, like that. Yeah, so I think this is better. So now we have 45 records in zone 7, the very first hour of 2020 and so on. Yeah, so we have some group by here. Let me now write the results. So I will write it to Parquet and then I will write it to data, report, revenue, uh, green. Let me execute this. And I want to go now to Spark Master and then see what exactly Spark is doing. So there is this job. There are three stages. Actually, I thought it would be two. And yeah, it is doing something. So I think the first one, it is doing group by and the second one it is doing order by yeah the first the first stage it's doing preparation for group by then it's doing the actual group by and then the third stage is order by so right now let me remove order by just to check that this is the case so i will remove order by uh, yeah it already exists i will need to overwrite it so it's mode over right and now if i go back to jobs again and open this yeah we have two stages here the first stage is preparation for group by and the second stage is doing the actual group by 
Now I want to spend a little bit of time explaining what exactly Spark is doing when we execute a query like that. So let's say we have a bunch of partitions. For simplicity, I'll take just three partitions and we have some executors. Uh, each executor pulls a partition and then the code we execute, each executor executes, is this. First executor is doing filtering because we want to discard all, all the records from the past, like before 2020. And then after filtering, it is doing initial group by. Why I say initial? Because executor can only process one partition at a time. So currently it is processing, let's say, partition number one. Then the second executor is processing partition number two. And then we have also partition number three that uh, one of them will execute when we, they are done with their partition. First, each executor is doing a group by within a partition. These are the field by which we group. It's our end zone. And then we do a bit of calculations. So we output our one, zone one, then uh, some revenue, let's say 100, and then number of trips, five trips. Because this partition had only five trips for this hour and for this zone. Then for the same hour, but a different zone, zone two, maybe we will have 200 and we have 10 trips, only within this partition. We do some grouping already, but this is only the result of applying grouping to one partition. And then the second executor is doing the same thing. Right? So we have some grouping here as well. And then uh, once one of them finishes, then we have a third result. Then for each partition, we have a bunch of, uh, let's say, temporary files that contain sub results. All of them are results, but we need to somehow combine them and group them again. So I'll call it sub results. I don't know if it's the right term, but I'll just go with this. And this is actually stage number one of a group by. And remember, we have two stages here. So in this case, uh, there's stage 12 and stage 13. But yeah, so this is like the first stage. This is where we do some filtering and then we do grouping for each partition. And the second stage is when we actually combine the results from different partitions. So now let me tell you how exactly stage two looks like. So I'll call it group by stage two. So we take these sub results and uh, in these sub results, so maybe in the, this second partition, we also have our one, zone one, and then I don't know, 50 and two trips. And then we have our one, zone two, 250, 11 trips. And then the same, maybe we have the same combination here. Our one, zone one, 210 trips. And now we need to somehow take all these records and combine them into one. This will be the result, the final group by result. The process of doing this in Spark is called reshuffling. And the reason it is called reshuffling, it kind of shuffles the records we have in each partition and it moves records between different partitions. This is the key which we use for grouping. This part of the record is the key. And as a result, all the records with the same key must end up in the same partition. Let's say I have two partitions here. So this record will go to this partition. This record will go to this partition and to this partition. So this H1, Z1, 105. And then uh, the same key here we have 50 and 2 and then again the same key and we have 210 and then the other partition we will get for example this one and this one it will be h1 z2 210 and h1 z2 50 and 2 and this process of reshuffling internally this is implemented as uh, it's called external merge sort so this is an algorithm for sorting the data. You can uh, do a distributed sorting and uh, the records inside each partition, they are sorted. So here maybe we have another record, which is H2, Z2, something. So at this stage, after reshuffling, we have these two partitions, partition one and partition two. Within each partition, we can do another group by. We can group all the records with the same key into uh, one. And then here we can reduce it into one, apply the sum here. So it will be 350 and then 17. And the same we can do here. So 
so it will be 250 and 12 and then as the result of this we will output these reduced records so it will be instead of having three records with the same key we'll have only one record with this key and combined result and this is exactly what we see here so um, this uh, exchange i think it means reshuffling and then uh, after it's doing reshuffling it combines the records into one and if we do order by here like we did and if i execute it again there is another stage and yeah this is very similar to what we discussed uh, here so it also uses this shuffling mechanism to make sure that actually the results are ordered i think this is not really important right now to have this ordered so i can remove this and let me be executed because why not and then i want to do the same thing with yellow data so also register a temporary table and now let me compute the revenue for yellow i think for yellow taxes it's not lpep but something else so let me quickly look at the, the columns yeah so it's tpep and then the rest will be the same so except here i'll select from yellow and then yeah i will have this filtering condition so let me execute that and actually write the results to the revenue yellow report and of course it should be not green but yellow so this probably will take a bit more time than green let me take a look at how it looks like yeah so this is the same process yeah so this is uh, it's running the first stage and then in the second stage yeah now it is running the second stage so in second stage we will have 200 partitions this is quite a few partitions we don't need that many so maybe what we can add here as a step is repartitioning just to make files smaller so let me do it here repartition usually though in practice this is fine when we have 200 partitions because we have larger files so here in this example the files are quite small that we are dealing with uh, but in practice you have files that are a few orders of magnitude bigger and what i'm actually uh, selecting right now you see this shuffle read and shuffle write so this is exactly this shuffling stage is how much data we needed to reshuffle and usually we want to reshuffle as little data as possible because this is an expensive operation because we need to move a lot of data around and we typically don't want to do that just in case i will repartition this because these files are relatively small i want to make them a little bit bigger by combining them into fewer files so i will do that and i will do the same for yellow and if we take a look at the jobs so right now the job for yellow taxi is running we see that we have three stages right so this is uh, the first is grouping and then again uh, for finishing the, the aggregating and reshuffling and the last one we are doing repartitioning so we are taking smaller partitions and merging them and this again this also involves a bit of reshuffling and we will see it here so when we yeah it finished the stage number two produced 200 partitions but the stage number three produced only 20 and we see that it needed to shuffle the data around 28 megabytes and we see that this is not really a big amount but when this amount is big you actually want to avoid shuffling and we can take a look at our data so if i do three report we see this data now so each folder here green and yellow has 20 files and we can also look at the size of these files if we do ls lh r r recursive it will go inside in each directory and we can see that for yellow it's 15 megs and for green it's 6 megabytes it's not that large even though yeah it's uh, 300 kilobytes results so it's a very small data set to be honest it's better than uh, probably 200 even smaller files this is how you do group by in spark and this is how group by is implemented so in summary it happens in two stages so the first stage does group by within each partition and then the second stage we're doing a bit of reshuffling to make sure that we have the same keys within one partition and then we are reducing these records with the same key into one and this is our final result in uh, the next video i want to talk about joints and joints and group by are more similar than you think 
because internally they are implemented using similar mechanism, this external merge sort. And because we already have these two tables, so this green revenue table and yellow revenue table, I now in the next video want to join them and want to talk a bit about how these joins are implemented. So see you soon.